find shaping a world that's in your mind Be for yourself and walk with me Well, I genuinely hate myself now. I, that was a terrible pronunciation. I hate myself because I went ahead and just built everything. And I feel bad. And it looks horribly ugly. I'll admit, it looks terribly ugly. But here's what it is. Yeah, I figured I would just do it, you know, off screen anyway, so I might as well just do it, get it over with, and show you guys how it works. So, um, this is the uh, one, the ugly minecart storage awesome thingy area. I'm a Bob. Let's start off by crafting the minecart with chests, which I've never, ever, ever crafted before. I just crafted three of them. Let's see here. Awesome. So I can open this up and put stuff in it. Really cool. Let's put a torch in, and we'll take the torch out. Sweet. Nice. Okay, awesome. So that's that. So, um, I guess I'll get to showing you guys, like, how this all works, because it's kind of, ooh, whoop. It's kind of, um, it looks like a, it's, it's a real mess. This is probably the messiest thing I've ever built. But it works. It works, you know, in a relatively simply, relatively simple ways. So this section remains unchanged. This is the part that will uh, open up the way for the cart to go through. Um, over here, uh, oh, I'll show you. So I have f four buttons and two levers. Um, these three buttons will call one of the three carts. I can store up to three carts only. And a, um, this button will send it on its way. All right. Um, this button will uh, either send the cart to storage or to storage, as you can see by this uh, rail right here. It actually, this rail actually goes down through the note block area because um, it just happened to be this way. So it comes up here, and the lever powers this junction here. So that's how that works. Now about um, sending the carts on their way, there's literally nothing to it. Like, there's the button, there's the track, that's all it does. There's there's no redstone behind it. So there's, there's no redstone from this button, or from this button to the track. These are by themselves. There is redstone, however, uh, excuse me, um, from these three buttons to their, uh, to these three tracks. So, um, so let's see here. So I have three buttons right next to each other. How am I going to separate their redstone currents? With the repeater, of course, the repeater will get the power from the middle button and send it up to this block, which will send it to the redstone and on its merry way. Um, these, This redstone, however, will just get their power directly from the button, and it won't be a problem. Excuse me for that. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, if we take a look here, uh, the le uh, leftmost button sends the power through the redstone, to this block and to the repeater. Now, the reason why it does this is because I needed this one block to be up by one just so I can get the track to go underneath without, you know, hitting the ceiling or something. So that's why that's there. Um, let's go this way. We got lots of uh, redstone coming over here. Leads into this block, which will power this rail. The, uh, the carts will all store on these uh, slanted powered rails. Now, uh, the middle one. We'll do the same similar thing. We'll go into this redstone. We'll go up over here. I had to do that so I can make room for this. Comes through here, goes along here, along here, up here, goes over there, down here, and into that block, which will power this. Now we'll launch that cart. And then the last one, uh, this one will send power along this redstone here, down here. I had to go exactly like this in order to avoid contact with this redstone and with this torch. So that's just how it works. There's a little hole there. And yes, it gives me OCD sometimes. And it comes through here and goes up these stairs and down here and into that block again. So that's that. That's how uh, all the carts get launched. Now, you're probably wondering, how the heck does it sort the carts? Like, how does it know which cart goes where? Well, it's actually really simple check this bad boy out. So, 
um, you know, the cart comes through here, travels along this path. Now, this will, now this is really cool. I'm surprised that this actually works for me. Basically, this track is always facing this way unless a cart is coming from this direction because of that detector rail. Whenever a cart touches that detector rail, which means it's coming from this direction, it will switch that track to point this way, which will send it that way. So it's kind of like a, I don't know, it's, it's a one-way track, I guess you could say. But um, So there's no way that I can send a cart from here to there. I haven't built it in here. And actually, you no, know, I just realized I can actually use this again. Give me... Give me all the redstone. Okay, got eight out of that. Oh, you too? Yes, please. I'm going to have to collect some of this stuff later. This is remnants from an older design I had that failed epically. All right, so, um, yeah, they come up here. Oh, six minutes already? Yeah, I think this is going to be mostly the minecart episode. So they come through here, and they go up that rail, and they come around here. They hit another power rail just to boost them. Then they hit this little junction here. Now, see this detector rail and this detector rail? They're both set up to a T flip-flop down below, which will power that junction. So as soon as a minecart comes through here, it's going to hit that button, or that detector rail. It's going to activate the T flip-flop, and that junction is going to switch over to the other way. So any cart that comes through here will go to the next one. It's really cool, really interesting. Shut up, stupid phone! Dang it! And uh, that one's set up the same way. There's just this huge gap here because of the um, pistons. Well, they enter. Oh, oh, excuse me. Wow. Mm. Wow, they interact with each other um, too much. So they affect each other too much. And the last one doesn't need a T flip flop. It's just there. I mean, if these are both closed, and it has to go to this one or else. So let's, let me just give you guys a demonstration. And I will close all this up so it looks all pretty. And there we go, sitting there nice and cozy. So let's uh, call it. There you go, like a charm. So uh, let me show you guys the T flip flop in action. There you go. So now the power is off, which means that that um, that you, you can see it if you look carefully. The track flipped. See, so now it's pointed that way. So the next card I add is actually going to send. Uh, is going to be sent to the second spot. Mm, there we go. This was a triumph. Oh yeah! Like a boss. And uh, last one. Goes there. Go! There we go. Magic. Um... But that one's like a lot slower. Why is it a lot slower? So we we'll use the third button to call. Oh, excuse me. We we'll use the third button to call it. Just like that. There we go. Now let's send it back because I'm I'm wondering why it is so slow. Whoa, whoa! That was that was never supposed to happen. It doesn't do that. Why did it do that? Uh oh. Okay. Uh, <laughs> occasionally things get weird like that, which is weird. Obviously, because it's weirdness. Call it again? No. Alright, let's get that back. No! My chest fell out of the minecart, dang it! I didn't know they did that. How oh, lame! There we go. Yeah, it, so in summary, this place is a big mess. I don't mind it, though. I just don't mind it. Wait a minute! I I wonder. Hang on, let me let me test something really quick. Because what if that powered rail is receiving power from that one right now? Wait, that wouldn't really work though cuz it's sitting on this thing and it never mind, never mind. Let's just 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 get out of here. Go. Get. Get out of here. Go home. Don't you want to go to your home? And there we go. So let's call the third one back again. You see, for some reason, that one's still facing this way. Why is that? That's so interesting. Hmm. 
Okay, we'll break this. Let's call the second one. Nope, see, it's not supposed to do that. Hmm. Debugging on camera. Wee, isn't that a lot of fun? Go. Wait, I heard it fire a pistol when it landed on it. It's not supposed to do that. What'd it do? What did it do with the old bamboo? Alright, let's... We'll just use regular minecarts for now. So for some reason, it's activating that when it passes. So what the heck? <sighs> Alright, so... All right, so I figured out what my stupid mistake was. And it should be pretty obvious. Um, and it's not really a mistake. It's more of just, why didn't I just do this in the first place? Basically, <laughs> um, I'm using T flip-flops when all I need are memory latches that are wired, that are hardwired to the different parts. It's, it's silliness. I mean, why didn't I think about this earlier? Basically, let me just show you guys what I'm talking about here. I'm using T flip flops. So either one of these buttons can activate the other. Okay? But here's something I didn't even think about. This button, this, I say buttons, this um, detector rail will always mean the cart is leaving, and this detector rail will always mean the cart is returning. So I could actually hardwire these things to mean, oh, by the way, I'm using my unbreakable pick, uh, pick, because I just, it, it's, wow, it's amazing. <laughs> I've been using it for a while. I did some, uh, caving with it. It's pretty nice. Um, I hate caves, though. I still hate caves. Still hate them. They're terrifyingly devilish. Found a, oh, that reminds me. I found a skeleton spawner that I really want to convert into a trap, so I look forward to that, right? Yeah. 25 million more episodes of that funness. What? What do, you, what do you mean? I'm not being sarcastic. I love that kind of stuff. <laughs> All right. Um, so basically, I'm going to set up a... Um, a uh, what's, oh, what was I saying again? I, I'm, I'm setting up a thingy. Yeah. A memory latch. Okay, so I have a few designs for memory latches actually, that are completely vertical. Uh, so I may actually be able to fit more carts in here if I do it right. Um, so let's start off with this. I may have to actually build this somewhat into the ground. Not a huge deal. Just don't want to fall into it. Hmm. Let's try something like this. And uh, we'll power... That one, yeah, that one's it. Okay, I'm gonna tr give this a try, and see if it's gonna work. And I, I, I'll just build it on camera for you fellas, just like that. And then we'll dig one more out here. Put one there. I want to get that piece of cobblestone back because it's so important. No. And then like so, just like that. And next, we need to do something like this. Just like, and then the other powered rails right here. So we need to get power from this piece of redstone down to this piece of redstone, which we can do pretty easily. Just run some wire around here. Ooh, whoop, it's powered. How's it being powered? Is it that thing? No, it's not that thing. Um. didn't lose all its power. Oh no, no, it's been powered over here magically. Oh, because I'm... <sighs> derp. That torch. Actually, the one I want to be getting power from is right here. That makes things a bit tougher. So let's put it there. Oh. Oh, I just had an idea. I just had an idea. Let's do that. No. Don't want that. I was thinking about putting a torch there. 
And that would kind of fail, though. I don't want perpetual power from any source. Hmm. Well, I suppose I could do something like this. Just, uh... Oh, don't want to do that. I don't want to turn that off. Let's do something like this, actually. There we go, just vertical redstoning. Always the highlight of my day. Not really, it's really boring and hard to do and annoying and irritating. Okay, so I think that is what we can use. Now we need to somehow get power from here over to here because this will actually uh, dictate something. Now let me think, when the power is on, okay, right now I think the power is off. So if the power is off, it will send it this way. Okay, so the second button needs to set, turn power off. So it needs to turn this one on, turn that one off. Okay, okay, and I know, I know what to do. I know what to do. We will just run redstone. Um, gosh darn it. In a very annoying fashion, really ugly way, just like that. Perfect, just like that. So um, you'll push, you'll hit that. That will turn this off. So we'll turn this on. Okay, so this should this should do it. Uh, do I have any minecarts? Yes, I do. All right, let's go give it a shot. This will be one a hundred times faster. Won't use any pistons. And one hundred times faster. Two won't use any pistons, and will be one hundred percent accurate. So see that? Okay, okay. I'm going to show you that again. So check it, check it out. If I put it here, that cart's going to that uh, track's going to switch. Yep. See, 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 it changed. So now. It is pointing that away. No, wait, that's bad. I did it backwards. Hang on. Uh, all I need to do is actually put it, one of those there. There we go. Done deal. Done dealio. So, oh, oh. I, this is a maze. This is just a maze of death. Get me out of here. Okay, so this should, this is right. Okay, this is right. This will do it. So if I put this here, that that means the car has pat no no you're doing it wrong you're doing it wrong all right i'm gonna just duplicate this over here let me just switch this off you stupid thing there we go all right and this one we will do the same thing for you same thing for you where is that redstone that i need yeah, there's redstone there, but I don't have the patience to collect it right now. Not patience. I just don't want to tear open the wall anymore. I'm tired of it. Okay, just like this. And we'll put redstone there. I don't do something like that. And she pop by the beat, but I No, don't pulse. You're going to break yourself. You broke yourself, dang it. We'll put redstone on top. There we go. And now we need to do like this I think I'm just duplicating the other one or mimicking it whatever whatever just like that 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 um I'll put redstone redstone this torch torch <laughs> torch I have been paranoid from the creatures. I'm not even kidding you. I'm absolutely paranoid nowadays because of all the monsters. It's just too much. I I have found a couple creepers in this room. I have found uh, zombies spawning out there. I found the Enderman that one time I already mentioned. That just, I'm, No, I'm done. I'm done with monsters. It's just too much. So I have lit up everything the best I can. So this should do it. I seriously think that this will be 100% accurate now. So, without further ado, and for the drum roll, please. All right, that worked. Let's craft the other two. All right, and go. Oh, no, no, no. go. And looks like all the tracks are facing the correct direction. Let's do that once more. This was a triumph. 
Heck yeah. All right, now let's launch the third one because that one's causing trouble with the second one. And if we look at the second one, it is still pointed the right direction. Awesome. So we'll send him back and it should go back into the third slot. There we go. So pretty much the memory cells are just saying, oh, the space is occupied. Don't send the cart this way. You know, go along. That's pretty much all, all they do. So uh, there we go. Yeah, so this thing's working nice, nicely. It's just a uh, little bit of a delay, but, you know, it looks pretty cool. Um, no, it looks ugly. It looks filthy and ugly. But I like it. It's my it's my, my little built creation here. So, um, yeah, as usual, the world's available for download at the Fear of Mobs website. Go check it out if you want to have this in your own world. Well, actually, no, if you want to, like, kind of copy the design or something like that. I don't know. Hopefully you guys like this. Oh, let's let's send a cart over to storage. All right, let's send the first card over to storage. So it's not even going to come to me. Okay, it's going to go this way. See, there it is. Now if I send it back, it's going to go back into its spot in storage because I left the lever the way it was. Now, if I had switched this, it would actually come out here to me. So let's, let's send it along. And as soon as it goes along, we'll switch that. Now, we need to be very careful not to call more than one card at a time. Every card needs to be in storage when it's not being used, and we cannot have we cannot be using more than one card at a time. There we go. So now I need to make sure I switch it back so it does not go back that way. We want to go to storage now. Wait. Dang it! I messed it all up. Whoa, wait, 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 hang on. It's kind of interesting. There we go. So that should send it back from whence it came. There we go. Awesome. So the reason there's only three cards, I kind of thought about it. One, I didn't have any room. But two, I kind of thought about it and went, you know, I don't really need a lot of those storage cards. I mean, these are mostly just for transporting goods to other places. And it's probably overkill for three cards. But, you know, I may be able to fit more, you know. I mean, I can probably fit another one in here somewhere. But, um... For now, I'm going to call it call it quits. That has been a long enough project. Spent enough hours on it. I spent a whole stinking video talking about it. Let's get some bread here. And um, next time, we're going to be digging our way up to the surface so we can uh, send a minecart. That's why there's a second, um, whoa, second lever here to uh, send a minecart up to the surface. Oh, which will be awesome. So, uh, actually, hang on, before I go, let me go ahead and throw down some signs. We'll just say, cart one, and cart two, let's activate caps lock, and cart three, make it easier on ourselves, just in case it was a little too hard for us to count. More. I want more. Doing tons of tree farming, so I'm getting tons and tons and tons of wood and the like. And uh, it's really nice. I'm getting lots of resources, so haven't been idle when I'm not recording. When I'm recording, uh, it's usually a treat. Usually just down here, setting, you know, building things and collecting materials. This is all right. Did I pick that stuff up? Give me. All right. So cart one is set. I didn't need all these signs. What am I doing? We'll say send cart. Okay. Send. Um, then we'll call this one uh, to storage. And I think this works either way. I think if it's up, whether it's coming in or going out, it will go to storage anyway. So that's that's nice. Um. Actually, I need to. No. 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 Okay. No, it's two storage room. No, no, you, know, you know what? No, no, no. Let's call it place the warehouse. I love that. Warehouse. Two warehouse. And two surface. Two surface inactive because it's not actually ready to go. Yeah, so that's, that's that. Mm hmm. The very last note plays a bass twice, just because it's the end of the song. So yeah, I gotta be extra careful. I don't recall 
I don't call more than one card at a time, but uh, other than that, thing's pretty boss. I'm gonna enjoy using this. We're gonna use it to uh, move stuff from the surface down here, and we're and vice versa. Uh, you know, you could like load up a chest here, send it to the surface, and then run and grab your things and take the transport card up. I mean, that would be awesome. Seriously, I just need some way to tell if you're a transport card or not. That would be a tough one. Oh, I'm so happy I could ride a pig. 